Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the most important exercise you can probably do, a version of the shield cast, the two-hand heavy club gamma cast. This video is part of a big series of videos meant to teach you the basic concepts of heavy club swinging. Heavy club swinging is how people in all of human history and almost every culture developed athleticism. It is the Olympic lifting of the ancient world. The goal of these videos is to help people get enough information that they feel comfortable starting a structured club swinging program where you track your data, where you control your time periods, where you record numbers so you can see progress over a multi-year period. Heavy club swinging is like Olympic lifting. You will start with a lightweight, you will progress to a heavyweight over multiple years. In heavy club swinging, there is a family of movements known as the shield cast family of movements, and it is the origin of all casting patterns. It is how you weight lift train casting patterns. Think of casting patterns as all the patterns that define humanity as a species. The ability to throw and the ability to use your thumbs to hold onto levers to use tools to build civilization. Today's exercise is a gamma cast. This is a shield cast that goes both directions. We're gonna demonstrate a shield cast, demonstrate the gamma cast, talk about why they're different and talk about why you do each one. Step up to your club, two feet point straight ahead. That is incredibly important because humans should run with their feet straight ahead. When we are working with all of these heavy club exercises, the first thing we coach is your connection to the ground. If your feet are in a weird spot, all of your joints are in a weird spot. If you're turned out, people tend to collapse their knees, they don't rotate effectively, and they place a lot of stress on the inside of their knee joint. The goal is not to make your life worse, the goal is always to make your life better. Point your feet straight ahead. Two feet point straight ahead, thumbs point towards the sky, stack your hands on top of each other, pick up the heavy club. Elbow on body. This is incredibly important. This is the order position. If you were to think about Olympic lifting or kettlebell lifting, you have a rack position. How you hold a weight determines how heavy a weight you can hold. Elbow on body, arm at a 90 degree angle. Top hand for the shield cast goes past your opposite ear. The opening move is actually towards the club. Top hand, shoulder move towards each other. Club goes behind you, swing and pull together. People learning this basic timing and these basic vertical rotations of the spine help people build their casting patterns stronger over time. The shield cast just goes one direction. Top hand around the head, but the hand is going the same way the entire time. The gamma cast introduces an alternating direction. Start with the one you know. Top hand past opposite ear, shield cast, pause, elbow on hip. Two hands on the club, we're gonna go the other way. Same side ear behind the head and catch. Elbow in the same spot, back the way you came. Opposite, same side. Tip, rotate, shoulder behind the head. Opposite, same side. Opposite, same side. Opposite, same side. Opposite, same side. The shield cast is incredibly important as an athletic training activity. And if you were to do, let's say, three exercises for the rest of your life, you would probably do like a kettlebell swing, a shield cast or a gamma cast, and some type of circle exercise. There's something unique here in shield casting. The point of doing two hands is it helps us learn to eventually do it with one hand so that we can make sure both sides of our body work and rotate equally well. Most people rotate one direction well. Dominant hand 
inside because that's the way people throw. You will notice 60% of the modern world has back pain and that is related to how their spine is moving. The goal of practicing all these movements equally and getting equally good with them is to make sure that the spine moves equally well in all directions. When we go to the gamma cast, we are introducing this change of direction. This movement is not just an arm exercise or a spine exercise, it is a core exercise. When the weight is behind you, the heavier the weight, the harder your abs have to fire to keep you from being pulled in half. When we introduce this change of direction, we are also introducing all these extra movements into the shoulder. We are introducing torque and torsion and control of a lever in the wrist joint, the elbow joint, the shoulder joint. It translates down through the spine to the hips, to the knees, to the ankles, to the feet. The heavier the club, the more it works its way down to your feet, the more you build global strength. The most important thing is the direction that you're moving first. In a shield cast, opposite shoulder moves towards the club to start the movement, spine stays vertical. When we go to the gamma cast, we start alternating directions. Same side shoulder and hand move towards each other. The lever pass around the head and pause. The catch is the important part. The better you get at the catch, the better you get at your vertical rotation, the better you get at all sports, the less pain you have, the more you stand up tall for the rest of your life. Everybody of every age should eventually be able to do this exercise for 10 minutes nonstop. You start with a lightweight and eventually you build up to a heavyweight.